Do you think designing a vector character is hard? When I was a beginner, it felt like a tough task because I didn't know the right techniques. Welcome to day eight of learning digital art. Today we are going to create a simple, a simpler, and the simplest character in Adobe Illustrator. In my previous video, we designed a vector character using geometric shapes, but in this video, we will simplify the process even more. If you are a beginner, this video will be super helpful. So let's get it started. First, we will create a simple character. So starting with the face, we will draw circles for the ears. It's very simple. Open Adobe Illustrator and follow me step by step. You can choose your own colors or use the same ones as mine. Trust me, it might seem tough at first. But with practice, you will get it. In this video, we will simplify the process of creating facial features by using basic shapes as we discussed in the previous video. Once you understand these techniques, you will be able to design any character, even the most complex ones using just basic shapes. We will explore this further in the next video. For now, we are focusing on understanding which shapes to use for different facial features and the parts of the character. This is very important step. So stay tuned. For the back hair, use a bigger circle. And for the front hair, you can draw any shape like a circle and rectangle. And we adjust it according to the character's hairstyle. A simple face for the character is now complete. Next, we will move on to the body. For the next character, we will simplify even further. So the question is, why are we creating such simple characters? Because simple designs work great for children's books, games and icons. Keeping it simple makes our characters more memorable. We forgot to add nose, so just drawing a simple triangle lines to represent it. Using oval shapes for the cheek blush. Next, draw a rectangle for the hip area, adding a few curves for the more natural look. Using rectangle shapes for the legs and then make slight adjustment as needed. Mirror or transform it for the other leg. For the hands, cylinder shapes work best. So feel free to use them confidently. We are using a darker tone from the t-shirt color for the sleeves, we will need to adjust it slightly. To add hands, we can simply draw a square with the small cylinder shapes. Yeah, obviously, we will add some curves. Every little detail requires some adjustment, right? After completing one side of hand, we will transform it for the other side. Next, draw a rectangular shape for the shoe. We will make some small adjustment as we did with every other part. Then we will transform this shoe for the other side as well. With that, our first simple character is complete. Now let's move on to the creating an even simpler one. We are making the character design simpler by using fewer details and an easier process. The face will be a circle with the same facial features as the first one.
For the body, we will use just one shape. For example, the upper body will be one shape. We won't draw the arm separately. As you can see in the video, use a rectangle shape for the leg. It just needs a little adjustment. That's all. Draw a line down the middle of the pant and at the bottom. For the shoe, combine a rectangle and a circle, half circle. To draw the hand, start with rectangle shapes, then transform one to create the other. I am adding a pattern to the character t-shirt. In case you would like to use it for your own character, simply draw any shape you would like to use it for the pattern, copy, paste it all over the cloth. You can mask or erase any extra parts as needed or you can skip this step entirely. We have also worked on a simpler version of the character. So next we will create the simplest one. Sometimes the simplest design can be the most iconic. Think of Pac-Man or Hello Kitty. For this simple character, we are reducing the details and simplifying the process. It's a fun challenge to see how simple you can make your character. Try creating your own minimal character and tag me. Just start with basic shapes, tweak them and craft a unique and memorable character. The rectangle shapes are used for the upper and lower parts. It just needs your attention. Try these techniques once and I am sure you will be able to create any type of character after watching this tutorial. Remember you are not creating shapes, you are creating emotions. Keep in mind that you are bringing a character to life and even the simplest form can be recognizable. This is the key to designing a simplest character. I added more curves to the rectangular shape for the body. This will make the character not only simpler but also unique compared to others. I'll use just a circle for the hands and paste it on the other side. For the shoes, I'll use a rectangle, add curves and a Z colored sole then add lines and transform it for the other side that's it and that's how we created simple simpler and simplest character using geometric shapes now it's your turn try it out and share your designs with me on social media using hashtag simple shapes challenge who knows i might feature your work in my next video I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for updates on my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.